My name's Karen and this is my story. I was conceived in England and born in Australia with my parents, sister and brother all travelling to Australia by ship on the £10 offer. I grew up in a loving family with memories of my mum, um, however being quite unwell. Um, we moved houses lots of times with my dad looking for work and um, sometimes he worked two jobs. Eventually we settled in Dandenong and my dad ran a painting and decorating business, which was a trade his father had in England. Uh, shortly after I turned 11, my mother was, became very ill and passed away in hospital. Not long after that, my dad went to live with his new girlfriend and I stayed with my brother and his wife. Uh, my sister was already married and had just had a baby. A few years later, I moved in with my sister-in-law's mum, known to me as Mrs B, when my brother and sister were having their first child. As you can see, we moved a lot, and for me, my ultimate dream was just, just to have my own home. So from an early age, I decided I needed to work hard and save hard to get what I wanted. So Mrs B was really good to me, and she helped me get my first waitressing job, and I was 12 at the time when I got my first job. So I saved hard, earning about $5 um, a session, and um, so by the time I was 16, I'd saved about $1,000 and I was able to buy my first little car, which was a Volkswagen. Um, at school, I was just an average student. Um, with Maths is my best subjects. However, in Form 5, I failed English, so therefore I failed school. Um, so then I left school not really knowing what I needed, wanted to do. However, I had an opportunity to do a secretarial course um, at Dandenong Secretarial College, which I thrived in. I finished in the top three. At the conclusion of the course, I was offered a job in a legal office in Dandenong, um, where I learned word processing using a WAN computer system. Um, this set me up for my future years, and I developed a great love for using computers. Um, I changed a few jobs and a few legal offices and became very proficient at being a word processor. I eventually worked in the largest international law firm in the city um, and I managed a word processing team. I learned system administration and writing programs and templates and macros and developed a lot of legal documents um, that could be done very quickly. Um, in 1983, when I was 22, I met Stephen, my husband now. Um, he had a love for motorbikes and music, which is what I shared. I had my own motorbike at the time. Um, after a few dates, he invited me to come to church, to the Berwick Church of Christ. Um, I'd never really been involved in church. My family never went to church. Um, my older sister had become a Catholic when she got married, um, but I never really attended the church with her. Um, so when I got invited by Stephen, to come to church. It was a bit of a shock for me that someone actually um, would do that. Um, and I was surprised when I got there that there was lots of contemporary music and, and the messages were really relevant and so I enjoyed attending them. Um, we got married the same year we met. Um, all I can say is that we really clicked and we just got married very quickly. <laughs> Um, so I'd always really worked hard and saved hard, uh, believing that money was the way to happiness. Um, I, I used to work two jobs, working in my legal office and still doing waitressing work. Um, so when after we got married, the year after we got married, I, we were able to put a deposit on our house. And we also went on a world trip for three months. Um, we were both earning good money and saving lots and, you know, life was good. Um, if you'd asked me about going to church um, previously to, to Stephen inviting me, I would have said, I don't need anything. What could God do for me? I sort of believed in God, but I didn't know anything about Jesus and how much he loved me and what a relationship with him would be like. So one Sunday morning in 1985, so a couple of years after we were married, I... Um, went up front and gave my heart to the Lord. Um, it was 
it's not something I really remember much about other than I just couldn't stop wanting to be um, making that decision. In 1986 I had my first daughter Amy and then in 88 I had my second daughter Madeline. I also had another daughter a bit later on um, which I'll mention later. I was blessed with good pregnancies and easy births. Life was really good and you know I loved being a home mum. Um, at this time Stephen was running his own business and he had offices in an office in Berwick and we were doing well financially. Um, however in around 1991, um, the insurance company he was working for um, decided to stop all the arrangements and branches and so um, we tried to struggle on but in the end we actually lost our home, um, our cars were repossessed and we went through bankruptcy. Um, I was devastated but I was so thankful that I had God at the time because he just helped me. He helped me realise that uh, money wasn't the answer and that I had so much more um, more valuable things with family and stuff than in money um, so at that time I because we had struggles with getting money I really prayed hard about what God wanted me to do and so it was clear that I should go back to work so I prayed one morning and said, right God, if you want me back at work, um, then you need to get me a job. So I looked in the newspaper and there were three jobs that I thought I could go for, um, all word processing jobs. So I applied for the three of them and I got all three. So I knew clearly that God wanted me to go back to work. Um, so I had a choice of jobs, so I, I took a job back in, in the HP house in the city gave me my own car park and I was in the litigation department so it was it was a pretty full-on job. About a year later after that there was a job advertised at church and um, I really felt strongly that I should apply for this job. Um, I didn't actually get the job but three months later the person that actually got the job wasn't coping and so the job was advertised again and so with hesitation I did reapply again. Um, so they employed me and um, yeah I, I remember walking in there and the first things I saw were typewriters and I thought oh goodness I've come from a computer driven industry to back to typewriters so I, I knew that God needed me to step things up in the church and get the church running well. Um, so so at that time also in 1995 I had my third daughter and um, she was clearly a gift from God at that time and, and so with all my family and friends and you know God's help I was able to work and she was able to be cared for at the same time. So for the four, last 28 years we've rented homes, um, we've always been able to put food on the table, we've always had been able to provide the kids their schooling and all that sort of stuff and we've endured our challenges along the way as a family as most families do and um, I'm pleased to say that even though during this COVID time God sort of stirred back up in me at the beginning of the year that he wanted to give me my dream to have my own home and so we started the process and then COVID hit um, but through it all, God was there with us and we actually are now living in our own little unit, um, paying it off, of course, on a mortgage, but without God's help, this would never have happened. And I'm so thankful and to be um, in God's family who surround us with lots of love and I just don't know how people can survive without God in their lives. And I just... Um, encourage you all that if you think you have it all together um, I, I, I think God has a better way for us it's an easier way and a much clearer way and I pray this for everyone who sees this